Alright guys, here we have the Samsung Galaxy F15 and today we're looking at some of its cool features that especially the One UI 6.1 has to offer. Now in the last we have showed the, about this edge panel, how to customize it, how to use it and there are really cool tricks hidden behind this one. So if you've not seen that one, make sure to watch that video. So in today's video, we'll be looking at some of the other features that I have not covered in my previous video. So it's basically the One UI 6.1, it's running as you will see it quickly and we have the Android version 4 running with that said let's begin the video then the first feature is regarding the notifications how you can customize the notification it's really helpful and sometimes we may miss these features right so notification pop-up style how many times you have dug into this feature and changed it according to your usage so here you will find this edge lighting style so how the pop-up appears whenever you get any message so how it appears is what you can customize here you can always choose fireworks hard that is bubble echo spotlight eclipse so little cool animation and you can also change the color here so whatever color you want there you go the fireworks are in purple and you also have the advanced so how transparent you want it to be and how long the duration you want it to be so once you have customized just tap on done and you can also choose the color by keyword so that whenever you're using your phone you'll quickly know that it's the message from whatsapp or it's the message from other apps based on the color that you have set here so again you can set it by giving the keyword to the color there's also apps to show as brief which means if you don't want some apps to show as brief on the just like how it popped up so you can always disable those things so again it's really helpful on how you can customize this one so that's the brief here you can also go it with the details so whenever you receive any message it will all be in detail suddenly so i would suggest you keep it to brief and then change it these things according to your preference so that was the first notification pop-up style setting second one is lock screen notifications quickly moving on here you will see that so on the lock screen what you want to see the contents here suppose you receive any message do you want to see that or keep it on the lock screen or not you can customize here so show content from all these apps that i've said and don't show content from these apps that i have switched off so you can turn it off and be worry free that it won't show up on the lock screen so that's how you can customize this one or you can always switch it off completely so that you don't get any notifications on the lock screen so that's how you can customize here and there is also this show content when locked you can always remove this one because when i lock i don't want to see any contents popping up on the notification so you can always do that set it here just like i have shown so moving on again let's take it back and moving to the advanced settings here there are really cool tricks here and i'll show you one by one so there is floating notifications instantly you will see what it is so floating notification how you want the notification from certain apps so if you want it from the bubble you will have these bubbles here if i just tap on that one it will show you in detail so you can extend or let's say you can open up and read it right away on the notification here you can also switch to smart pop-up view which means once you get the notification if you just tap on that one it will be in a pop-up app just keep it to bubbles and you are good to go so another little trick here is the notification history as you are seeing so make sure you have turned this thing on whenever you read any whatsapp messages you get and uh, let's say they have deleted it so how you want to read that back so this is where you find those deleted messages so what they had written previously and deleted you can always find it over here since you will get that notification right here so make sure you keep the notification history turned on to read those kind of messages but again if you want more privacy you can always turn this thing off so that it won't have anything in the history saved up so that's again a little trick here and it's really helpful i hope now let's quickly move on to the advanced features so inside the setting in the bottom you'll get the advanced features just tap on this one you'll have this side button i've already made a separate video on this one how you want this button to be used up so double press this button to customize to whatever you want so if i want to open gallery so i have set it to open app gallery on double press this one just double press this one and instantly i have the gallery opened so you can customize it according to your liking so another really cool trick is how you use the lock screen so i'm not sure how many of you know this one so whenever you are on the lock screen if you just tap on this time or clock you'll have instant access to quick action you will have the date clock so whatever i have set here i'll be shown here so instantly i can start recording the audio right away from the lock screen so this is how quickly i can access the voice recorder so i'll just lock the screen i'll show you once again if i just tap on this time clock so you'll have this 
voice recorder turned on and instantly it has started to record right so this is how fast you can do it and there you have the feature and you can instantly or discreetly record voices so you don't need to open the app separately so that's how you can quickly reach to the voice recorder so so how i have set all these things so just go down here just tap on settings so open up the log here you will see what you want up on the order there so i have set it to like today's schedule and i have the next alarm i have the voice recorder and music so whatever you want you can just enable this one or you can also reorder on which one to show first and based on your liking you can customize and keep it so these are some of the cool tricks that one ui 6.1 has to offer and it's been there for years if you didn't know about this now you know start using it customize according to your liking that's the beauty of android so that's it in this video this is samsung galaxy f59 just saw the cool tips and tricks about the one ui so so I will see you in the next one. Make sure to like, share and subscribe.